Hello guys, welcome back to the Warhammer Tacticus and in today's video we're going to play the brand new tournament arena with the power-ups. Um, I did not try, I did not test this mode out, so this game, the first game the, will be the ranked match and with uh, without pre-playing the mode, even the casuals, believe me or not, uh, I like to discover new things with you. Um, just you can see <laughs> what okay so we can choose I, I actually did not even get to this many so so we let, let's see if we can uh, if we can get our characters from this from this so the Kalandis is must-have character of course the Makotep and Alepnol the fourth, the fourth one, I'm thinking about Archimatas or Yarik, since the Yarik has the resilient trait, so if he will be not overkilled, he will remain with one health point. But I don't remember which character I was was using previously. Um, I think it was Archimatas, and we can try out the I don't know this one or. I'm thinking of post Gulgots. I'm wondering if, if if there will be a difference. Let's play our our first match with this uh, roster. If it's not gonna work, I will change the setup. Damage power up. Hits power up. Okay, so we move first. Uh, we have to check the range of this of, of his roster. And actually, let's uh, let's go here. Okay, and we can wait for him. There are some power-ups, of course, which uh, he can claim, but I don't know how powerful is this. So I have to check if this will be powerful power-up or. Or not that 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 powerful. Okay, so actually it's strong, but I think that it won't be strong enough to hold us. Uh, okay, we want to get rid of this orc. He will be uh, tough to play against. Uh, I didn't want to do this, so I messed up a little. But if he will not manage to kill my characters here, I think I won. So where can uh, can I try armor up? 100%. So I guess the damage is the same, right? And I think the battle is won. Hits power up plus two hits. Nice. So it means that Kalandis can hit triple? No, it does not. Uh, okay. Let's go for the Archimatos then. Yeah, I like that there's no these spots. Uh, I still don't expect to to be the top of the player because I do not have the Celestine, and this is um, this is huge huge disadvantage for me. Okay, we got the nine points and we are over one thousand position right now, but we know how to do it. So let's let's get going with this roster. So I think that right now the characters with uh, the characters with summons will be still uh, in the meta again. Since there are power-ups, okay, these guys are powerful, nice. So let's check the Makotep in the first place. Let's let's get the heal power up. Uh, he will not um, reach me, I guess, in this. Okay. Oh, sorry, I was after the gym and I, I don't feel well. 
Okay, so he reached some... So he has increased armor by twice, right? Increased armor by 100 equal of the max health. And this is... Increases the health by equal of 200% of health points. When picked up by a unit, this power-up increased their damage by 100. Okay. So we we have to take down in the first place, I guess. Uh, I think we'll take down Alep now because he's the most annoying character in the game. So you have to decide, I think, if you want to take the power-ups down or if you want to... Uh, It's interesting, yeah, way more difficult, in my opinion. Okay. So we cannot do anything here. Okay, this will not work. I think we might we might lose it, but if the Maranos Kalgar will move before the uh, Alep Null, the my Alep Null should be able to kill his Alep Null. Yes, and I think we're just dead. Yeah, he just messed up, but the damage was huge. Okay, <laughs> we are learning the game together. Okay, um, we should just take a look if what can we do better. So, maybe Makatep, okay, Makatep, I don't know if Makatep is still that powerful, but we'll just use, the, use them. We will just play like four or five battles in this with this team and then we will try to change something uh, and again we are kept at this score so yeah this guy can reach us okay the only one character who can reach us here is this guy so let's go for it. Uh, this is very uh, invisible. Uh, it's hard to to see this one. Okay. So again, we go for, for the Archimatos in the first place. Okay, we go back. Uh, okay, I like it. And the, the thing that they changed the maps, uh, it's also a cool thing, because you just cannot go all in like you could. And your enemy will not die in like within one turn. Okay. 
yeah, the boosting of the boosting of Kalandis is huge, and I think that Celestine will be even more powerful right now in this game mode. Um, I just don't want to have my uh, energy wasted, so we can try to uh, use some of the energy to. Yes, so finally Yarik is on high rank. 85,000, pretty nice. So we lost one battle, we won two battles so far. Um, so I already after three battles can say that the, this is a progress in PvP arena fights. It's not just, you know, move and, and win the fight. It's already, uh, like, how to say it? Forcing people to, 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 to choose if they want to power up or they want to, uh, you know. Okay, this is boost to the melee. Plus four melee hits. I'm not sure how it works, but okay. What does it do? Okay, let's go in, why not? So this is full roster of, of the Death Guard. I don't think that the Death Guard is the best uh, faction to play. Um, the Corrodis is powerful, but only if the enemy st stays passive all the time. So he should not be the, the best character to play here. Uh, we will go with the Kalandis for this power-up of armor, and then we will uh, go for the Typhus with the Kalandis. We'll go for the for this guy also. Okay, so we, we can go, go for this. Okay, nothing we can do here. Uh, we can go here, I guess. Uh, summon two crabs and make them move one more time. Okay. Yeah, the arena is already more, more, more interesting and there is no such a thing that you lost the battle. If the if you move as a second one and enemy has, uh, you know, on small map first move and he can uh, win if you stay passive or if you move one, one spot, you lose. So, yeah. I did not use the ab ability again. But I don't think he can win. So all we need to do is just to back off with the Makotep and the crabs will do the rest. Yeah. We can just run away. Or just try to take down this guy. Yeah. Okay, so we just became a 5002 player. Uh, I, I I like how how they uh, actually I really like how they increase the uh, ver variety of the of the fights. I really like it. Marnell's Kalgar seems to be broken here. Even if he can, you know, catch up these this, uh, buffs, this is crazy how powerful can he become. So we want to take down this guy. What this guy, uh, what this thing does. Okay, let's go for this. Okay, this is, I think this is worth a lot.
yeah so we got four power-ups because we move our second one so right now the buffs are closer to the character to the person who begins turn as a second one uh, this buff with health points is also very broken especially to the tanks so we can see that the Golgos has 1400 armor so this is like five times more than Kalgar and yeah and now the Archimatos shows the, the potential okay yeah the Kalgar is still powerful and I think that the, the bonus which he has can change the game but uh, not for this time so in the future we can try to change the Archimatos or maybe I think the Archimatos will be a good play to be changed, replaced with the, uh, the Celestine will replace the Archimatos which we are using right now, uh, but yeah, this roster seems to be working pretty nicely, um, the Gulgots is also something very nice, uh, okay, let's, uh, yeah, they can take all of the power-ups right now, so we can take it, but it will give us nothing, completely nothing. Uh, so, yes, we'll just move as far as we can. With our characters, let's see how it's going. So right now we have to take down the Vindicta in the first place and then try to take down the Aleppo. Uh, if he'll take, pick up this bonus, he will be very vulnerable to the damage which he'll... yes. Um, let's go here. Or we can go here actually. Very nice. So we can go, I guess, here. Yes, we take them with Nikta. Um, a little bit lucky, but yeah, you have to be lucky sometimes, right? So I think that they will kill Makotep. This is must have. So this is why I just use this ability. Uh, they do not have anything to take down the the, the crabs. So the Bellator probably will take down this the first swarm. Um, the Archimatos will take down the Makotep, and maybe Archimatos will be dead right now. So, so yeah, we will have still Kalandis, Golgots and the Alepno to take um, his spawns. Okay, I did not finish my turn, I guess. I could attack with the Golgots. Uh, I messed this up. I know how to read this guy Nick uh, name Golgorts whatever it's so hard to pronounce it Yeah Okay So the enemy has three, still three characters and two moves right now. So he can go for my. He can go to. He probably will take down Aleppo. Yeah, but did not happen. So we can already go here and try to take this guy down. We'll take down uh, the Aleppo with this. Okay, yeah, They're way more fun, way more fun than, than it is to be. Uh, 
Um, I think that the also important thing is that against who you want to play. Um, you know, I do not play with my legendary characters. And it will be impossible to play with the Celestine, I think. if it, okay, okay, it will be possible, okay. So everything is fine. Uh, okay, they do not have any extra move. So we can move with this guy here, and can, he will not reach us, she will reach us. Is it worth? Okay. Okay, let's, let's risk, uh, let's risk a little. The thing with the mechanical units is that they can repair itself, so if they will attack them, uh, we have still chance to uh, survive and repair ourselves. So we will take with Gogots this buff, which we can see right here on the left side, and we will still be, will be able to move. So we go here, this, this is like... Okay. Let's go. So the Marnos is the one character who can take down of the crabs, and Morbenval is also the same character. Uh, we can still summon a lot of enemy, a lot of allies with the Archimatos. Okay, so we wanna go back, I think. Okay, he just retreated. I think he had the chance to, to win this fight. So we are 1567 right now. I think we'll reach, with this one last match, we'll reach like top 50. Oh, this is nice. This is very nice for us to, that Makotep is close to the Kalandis. So the Eldron is the first one to, t to be taken down. Uh, maybe even Alepno will read the Gulgats, I don't know. Can he reach him? Yes, he can. Okay. Um, so if I about to t to say what I'm thinking, I think that Golgots is one of the best characters on the arena since he can move twice. So he can pick up the bonus, like uh, extra damage, extra 100, and then go for the enemy, and or he can pick up the health. Um, the Makotep is a very important character. Yeah, just look at it. Crazy stuff. With the Eldrion buff, the, the Kalandis is still not dead with the shield. So it's our turn to make a move. So we want to get rid of the summons in the first place. Okay. And we want to, I don't know, we want to stay close to each other. This fight is is pretty fair, in my opinion. Okay.
But I don't think that the Calandis will be able to take down all of the demons. see the range, um, the Vartigorius yeah, close one but nice game actually I, 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 when when you lose this fight, you are not get you are not getting tilted by, by some random fights. Uh, it's like, uh, I think this is way more cooler. That that's all that I'm thinking. So, yeah. Okay, this still works. Okay, I think I lost this one also. Yeah, we lost this one. So we have two fights more to go. Um, I'm not actually mad that I lost some fights. This is absolutely fine with me. Uh, we can try to change... Because... Um, there is so much crowd. We can try to take Yarik, except for, instead of the instead of the Makotep, and try to overwhelm the enemy with the summons. So the Celestine maybe, and um, yeah, Celestine instead of taking the Gulgots maybe will be the play. Just do your best to summon as much characters as you can and win the fight with the summons. Shield is taken down. Uh, yeah, I think we'll stay here with Calandis on the high ground. The Alepnul is basically dead. Yeah. 
I hope that Archimantus will be not dead, but he should not be. Yeah, the Gogos is very powerful here. We have still ability with the Archimates to uh, summon a lot of demons. So let's pay back for this guy. This is the payback. There is black, goodbye. Hope you enjoy your failure. <laughs> Sorry guys, I'm sometimes a douche. Okay, we have 185 energy, 28 I mean. So we can try to pull up a little Archimates from the elite battles. So one, two and three. We can uh, make it, we can make it also we just pulled the Aleph node for the higher level and we have still two upgrades to be to be done I don't think it will be done right now but I think it can be done by the end of the weekend so we have one more fight to play uh, we have one more fight to play let's see how it will be, how it will be going for us all the map has been fixed this one is a crazy map. I hate this map actually so much because it's so random. Okay, we managed to take down one of the biggest threats in this match. So he will decide, he will have to choose if he goes for the buffs or he take down the Gulgots. Uh, he cannot make it through the... He cannot make it through him to get this buff. So probably the Harkin will be the one who will take this. Okay, he did not. So it's very good for us. Um, yeah, we'll, we'll, we'll make this this point. So the Kalandis cannot reach this bonus and my Kalandis is safe right here. So yeah, this fight is already won. I don't think they can win the fight. Yep. So after today's fights we obtained to become 224 player but we have still to, uh, the advertisements to be watched. So let's play the redemption pool. Uh, I will just skip their advertisement so we can so we don't have to watch this one. Okay, so we are back. Uh, enemy goes first, so it means that we will be most more likely to obtain the buffs. So everything is fine. Uh, okay. 
And the repositioning characters in the beginning of the fight should be like... Yeah, he will, it will be taken down. So what wanna what what we want to do is to take these buffs Yeah Okay, I think I will lose this fight. Like this is uh, take it and die. <laughs> this is exactly what this is saying. So you increase your health Okay by 200 and you take 100 more damage Yeah, five hits is huge for the air units Not much you can do. Okay, we can retreat this one. And we did not lose anything from the redemption pool, so this is interesting. Uh, it it was it was normally you you would have you would lose some points. So I think we have like two more chances to get some points from the redemption pool. Uh, we go as a second one one more time. Um, I need to learn which buffs are the best for the certain characters. I will post this material probably very soon. So, yes, we will take down. I love this one when the when this guy picks up, you know, take the most uh, fun. Hmm. Okay, this one is also lost like 90%. Yeah. Damage is increased by 100, so I don't. I'm not sure how the damage can be increased by 100, and you can still not take down the character which is close to you. Uh, let's just retreat this one because people also does this. And maybe we can try one more play from the redemption pool. Now we have to wait two hours. So guys, this is the result of our today's struggle. We received 255. Uh, 254 position up right now so we have 15 score to get back uh, so 17 score to get back it will be like 96 so we lost three battles today two battles or three battles I think we lost three battles and uh, two from the redemption pool so anyway uh, the first view of the PvP arena fights is very nice. The some things has been fixed. The balance is is I think that the balance was the main issue which people struggled. And right now this this, this balance is looks like it's more um, you know closer to each other. So the 
people who will start their turn as a second one has still chance to, to win. There's not no, no I didn't mean such a thing like lose instant losing of, of the match because enemy has good roster on the good map. So this is how 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 I feel. Um, we have some some chances to obtain like top 200, top 300 places, but like I said, uh, this is the first time what we are seeing right now. So every everything might happen. Uh, for sure, I will not ob obtain top 10 places. And these places are for the people who did not lose any fight or they lost one. So I hope you enjoyed the walkthrough. I uh, hope you enjoyed this video. And if you have any comments, please let me know what kind of roster do you use. Mm, let me give me some advice if you if you know something what I do not know. Uh, let me know what you think about uh, the new arena. And see you tomorrow, I guess. So have a good night, guys.